we've gotten some new updates from CIG pertaining to the roadmap round up for April 17th. And this one is a little disappointing. And there's a few other updates as well. Let's get straight into it. In the release view, it says, as a part of our final process, we concluded that the quality of the cargo feature that we were targeting for the launch of Star Citizen Alpha 3.23.0 are not at the stage where we need them to be as far as release to the live servers. The freight elevators and instant hangars in particular are technologically complex features that will require a bit more work before we feel comfortable fully integrate them into the game. This additional time allows the team to test for additional edge cases and include further refinement, which is especially important for features as impactful as these. However, we are not currently planning on shifting them back a full patch cycle. The feature below will remain in 3.23 column on the release view, but are now targeting for a 3.23x release. And that is item banks, personal and instance hangars, new missions, cargo hauling, and freight elevators. So now in, in regards to the personal and instant hangars, it's, it is um, disappointing, but I did see this coming for a long while. They, um, this didn't even get to be tested, um, at least extensively, in... Um, during the Evo Cardi phase, I'd never seen it as a testing focus. So I was, uh, I anticipated that they were actually having some issues with this. So I kind of, um, in a way, expected it to be pulled to at least um, a 323X patch. Also, they also did an update pertaining to what's been added to the 3.3 uh, release view branch. And it says Vulcan graphic API support. It says converted Star Citizen render from direct x11 to vulcan graphic api this allows spreading gpu submission work over many cpu cores and enable many new tech features that are previously unavailable such as ray tracing vulcan is able to be opt into via the option menu with this release but it will eventually fully replace direct x11 in the future and also water simulation and rendering improvements. It says the water in Star Citizen now support a multi-scale GPU wave simulation to support dynamic reactions to thrusters, aerodynamic wave and explosions and collision. The rendering has also been overhauled with improved waves, reflections, refractions, underwater fog and helmet effects interesting up next is what they also committed for star season alpha 3.23 which is moby glass rework fps loot screen fps map system visor and lens hud rework player interaction experience eva tier 2 star map rework master modes new mission creature hunting Fauna, which is Copian, and Fauna, which is Mayrock, an Arena Commander Engineering Experimental Mode, Arena Commander Grav Royale, Arena Commander Custom Lobbies, and Arena Commander New Flight Maps, which is Miner's Lament. Just to let y'all know, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.